Today, we'll be checking out Sid, a unit that is probably a must-have and easily in the top 5 category for the game. Now, this guy is from an anime called The Eminence of Shadow. I've never watched that anime, I have no idea what is about, but this guy actually reminds me a lot of Dark Magician from Yu-Gi-Oh! So, nonetheless, let's jump right into it. This unit is an MR unit, so it's again something that you don't really need to rely on RNG in first place, you just go Miracle Creation and you see here Lord Sombra. So this is it. Records a whole bunch of materials, a whole bunch of stuff from a crossover event, a couple of hollow shards which are very easy to get. Rituals are a little bit annoying to farm and you need a couple of uh, Sombra medals as well and a whole bunch of orbs. That's like five runs of insane. You get around 10k each. So let's go ahead and craft Sid and we're gonna check out how good this guy actually is. Oh, okay. I've never seen this animation before. What the hell? Might have probably used sound effects here. He's probably playing some uh, something badass on piano, but I've never seen an animation like this before. Like, you know, it always has like the typical um, animation where it's just like a texture, uh, text, and it's just like a unit standing in front of the city. Okay, there we go. There is no road to World Mightiness for those. I don't know. Anyway, there we go. Okay, that was kind of cool. Special animation, I guess. So let's check out this unit and why this guy is actually so damn good. Oh, he does actually have a cosmetic as well. Okay, let's equip his cosmetic. Let's put him up to level 30 for now. We don't have any hidden power, unfortunately. And let's get something better in his stats. So I'll see you guys in a second once you actually get something good. All right, this was surprisingly awful. It took me way too many rerolls, and again, this is like something decent. It's not like anything great, but it works for now at least. So anyway, let's go ahead and check out what else does this unit have. It's a ground unit, obviously, at least in his base form. His passive is resist, so he's like just resistant to stuns and everything. I don't think he does have a skill, does he? No, he does not. So Shadow Event is his main category, and that's his leader buff as well. He does have a whole bunch of other tags as well. But yeah, anyway, so check out the cosmetic. Okay, not bad, I guess. I mean, you literally just turn your own avatar into a Sid. And let's go ahead and equip him. And we're gonna jump into, yeah, he's literally the same. He just does have this uh, purple shine. So let's jump into a training area. And then I'm also gonna showcase you guys some other cool stuff that you can do with the unit. Once we actually see his uh, base usage. He does have some pretty neat uses and pretty niche uses so yeah we're gonna check this out first of all and yeah so basically seed is another nuke unit just like Gilgamesh and maybe like maki i guess which is a a little bit of a worse nuke unit but yeah seed is one hell of a nuke unit just like Gilgamesh pretty much but he does a lot more other things that Gilgamesh cannot do which actually puts him i think in a objectively higher category than Gilgamesh so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna drop seed right here, just to uh, begin with. So you see, starts off as a full circle away. He's actually playing the piano, what the hell, okay. 12.23k damage, so he is pretty whack at first. So you see, upgrade four is gonna give us um, circle away instead of the full away, 55.5k damage at the start. And then we get into this cone attack at upgrade seven, 146k damage. And you see, we have this upgrade, it unlocks his, uh, on use ability so you see this becomes a little bit tricky there's actually three completely different um attacks but let's go ahead and continue to upgrading him and uh, there we go you see so max upgrade he's sitting comfortably at 954k damage and we're gonna talk a little bit about his uh total i guess uh, abilities so you see first foot i am atomic deals 25x attack damage to enemies in range so it is pretty much like a nuke uh, second one is I am recovery atomic increases base HP by units total damage dealt So instead of just blasting everything with a nuke for your total damage You just heal the base for that amount of damage which can be really good I'll show you guys some really neat uses for that later on and lastly we have I am all range atomic Which is pretty much his nuke right? That's his actual like nuke nuke deals damage to all enemies equal to this units total damage and reset total damage So the difference is that the first attack just does a nasty amount of damage without actually resetting your total damage or whatever so let's go ahead and just uh what should we do 500k 5 million okay let's just spawn a couple of units for like 5 million each um they work pretty slow so you should be able to kill them 
should take like what like 35 seconds or something well it's gonna take him a while actually to kill them but they are gonna die so you see um we're just gonna wait until he ramps up that 175 million damage and i'll show you guys what i'm talking about after. all right there you go so we do have 185 million total damage at this point you see units are obviously running in so if i press i am atomic he's just gonna pretty much just do 25 times his attack damage so around around 25 million obviously that could even get buffed furthermore if you have literally any damage unit idol star idol which we don't currently have but yeah it is a pretty neat damage unit 200 seconds cooldown as you can see which is not that bad especially if you play at 3x speed that's like a little bit more than a minute so you can still use this uh the first atomic ability and then like continue stacking up the damage for that nuke but uh I'm just gonna do this actually and I'm just gonna keep stacking up the damage so we can completely showcase the nuke at the end as well but yeah besides like being an extremely good new unit he does have other uses as I said earlier which I'm gonna show you in a little bit and it's just like niches to make your life a little bit easier later on so yeah let's just wait for atomic to get off cooldown I'll show you what I'm talking about all right so we do have about 1.92 billion damage accumulated at this point so i'm just gonna spawn a gazillion of enemies which he can't really kill obviously and yeah so basically you can just like use atomic at first especially like in an infinite run you have more than enough time to just use it and then like once you stack like, a lot of damage you can just go ahead and use his nuke obviously his nuke is once per time use so, like the cooldown is obviously way too long so there is no chance that you are gonna get it back but yeah the ability that i'm talking about this entire time the recovery one which does seem people i think people underestimate the thing way too much and how much easier it can get your life so i'm gonna show you a prime example of how good this thing can actually be just to make your life a little bit easier so for that we're just gonna jump into a raid or any other well legend stages are not really that useful we're probably just gonna jump in a raid to showcase you what i'm talking about so i'll see you guys in just a moment all right guys so as you can see we've jumped to soul hall and this raid just like a lot of other raids has a three stage boss pretty much so instead of just sweating trying to kill the boss and whatnot like what you can do is just bring the seed and what you can do is literally just use the recovery version and you know this boss basically just has three forms so he just he dies the first time and then he dies yet another time and then he has like his third evolution so what you can do instead of just like bothering with all of the stuff is you can literally just go ahead and just let him crash in the base and that should make your life like a lot easier you see i can literally just go ahead and just sell gilgamesh even and he's just gonna crash in the base and that's it like i can even sell the sid and it really does make your life a lot easier you don't really have to think about like having all that damage to kill the boss at the end of every stage so he's really a very good unit to use in that sense as well which i think goes by very unnoticed and a lot of people probably haven't really thought about using the unit that way but he just makes your life like a lot easier so you see that's it we just do this and the boss is just gonna crash in he's instantly gonna die instead of just killing him once and then he just uh, changes to his second form and then kill him again then he goes to the super boss form which yeah is a lot of damage to do so yeah you see right here that's it he just crashes in he dies obviously because your base is way too healthy from the cell healing and that's it so that's a very very clever and uh underrated use of using sid he will make your life a lot easier when you're farming you don't have to think about the boss uh, at all because i know that a lot of times like when you're trying to, especially to solo things you might have had this exact issue where you got to the point where you can like finally clear everything find the damage to get to the last wave and then like the bosses are just like impossible to deal with especially like there's other maps that like spawn two three bosses at the end of it so yeah sid definitely a must must have unit um even for like infinites and uh, orb stages and stuff like that like his nuke is a must-have so you want to bring like him you want to bring gilgamesh bring as many nukes as possible just to postpone the end of the run for as long as possible so yeah definitely a great unit to add into your arsenal but yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys as always if you have enjoyed uh make sure to like the video and i'll catch you guys on the next one goodbye